we just started here. So, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we just started here. So, okay. Yeah. Okay. Welcome everyone to the World Package in R. We have our speaker, Francis Vence, who's a statistician and programmer, and he's also the founder and organizer of the Ghana R users community. We're very excited to have him. I've just posted the Google Docs in the the Zoom chat, and if you have any questions, comments, you can go ahead and post them there. I think I should put some. <laughs> this is, I should put a section there, or if depending on Francis, if he wants to ask a question right ahead, depending on how he wants to do it, you can go ahead. So I'll leave it to Francis. Yeah. So um. So uh, regarding um, um, this meetup, so I think we have to set up some um, ground rules. So um, if you have any questions, just post it at the comment session, the chat session, so that probably once I see it, I can respond to it. Whenever I'm presenting, then probably there's interaction at times, uh, it's very difficult to just uh, focus on it. So I think uh, this is the ground rules that I probably, probably would like to set. So um, I think, yeah, so um, cool. So uh, I don't know what I can start the screen. Yeah, so um, can I start? Um, Musa, do you have a question you'd like to ask? Oh, I think he, I think he left. Oh, okay. I think it's all right. So, uh, I'm just trying to uh, hello, share my screen. Okay, I think so. I was having a question. Hello, yeah, hello. Can, can I hear you? Yeah, I can hear you. Uh -huh. Good morning. Please, please, please I don't know whether. In. Your place is noisy. Can you control? Um, I don't know. It's noisy. I, I think he was. He, he hadn't muted himself, but he, it's okay now. I've, I've muted him. Okay. Okay. But but he can type on the comments. Uh, the the chat session. So I think was. Uh, I just want to share my screen. So. Oh okay. So if you guys have any questions, well. He's sharing his screen, we can post it in the, the chat. I think he's ready now. Okay. Oh, and I just also, before uh, we get started, I just want to mention that we have our co founder, Utiriti Ishmael, who's studying her PhD in Ireland. And uh, yes, well, welcome, Utiriti. Onti, we haven't heard from you in a long time. Would you like to say hello? If not, you can just say hello in the chat if you can't talk. But it's good to have you. She's uh, Untireti Ismail is a co-organizer and co-founder of Our Lady of Kaburun. So it's good that we have her here. Okay, Hi, everyone. Hi. Um, it's nice to see everyone here. Um, thank you. Ebenezer for 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 for, for joining our daily Sabaroni. I have uh, many of your colleagues here in Ireland. They are very nice people. I love the Ghanaian people. They are very kind-hearted people, and uh, yeah, continue doing the the nice stuff. Thank you, everyone. Um, thank you, Simisan, for hosting our 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 users Ghana. Ah, thanks, Onti. Okay, so please, can you see my screen? Oh, yes, we see it. Okay, so um, before I start, I want to acknowledge my best friend, my good friend, um, Prof. K, I call him, he's called Joshua. Uh, he's joining us from Italy. Uh, he has been with us since we started this community. He has been supporting me. Uh, both um, financial and everything. He has been advising me and we actually came this far through him, his advice and counsel. Um, so Joshua, I really want to acknowledge your presence and thank you for joining. 
So with that much I do, I will just start. Um, so today I'm going to talk about Swadili package. So basically and ideally Swadili package is just a valuable tool for enhancing learning um, in R. So I have, I have used a lot of packaging. I've used the data camp um, system to learn R. I have certificates on it. But when it comes to Swadili package, it's just very different. It's just very different. And it's, it's when you follow it, when you want to learn R, I normally recommend people to use that one because the, the, way, they, the, the way the environment is very friendly and it's very simple to also understand. So I'll be taking you through, I'll do some demonstrations about that one very soon. So as I gave the abstract out, I spoke about, uh, with, when it comes to Swadili package, it provides an interactive lessons and exercise exercises. So when you are working with Swadili packages, like it gives you an interactive lessons and exercises to do. Once it gives you to do, you, you keep on learning. And when you, once you learn, you enhance your skills more in R. And um, it, there, are, there are also some features that you can explore when it comes to Swadili package and some benefits. It's also serves as a self pack learning platform. Uh, that offers a wide range of interactive courses covering various topics in our program. So it covers a lot of topics. It takes you from um, the, the, the beginner level to the advanced level. Yeah, so thank you for posting it. Yeah, so it takes you from beginner to advanced level. So I want to demonstrate, I think most of the informations are there. Um, Edaba just shared up a link. When you click on the link, you get to know more insights and detail about um, the Swadili package. So let me quickly go into demonstration. And one thing I like about Swadili package is that the course are embedded in the course. The, the course are embedded. So once you have the course embedded in the course, you can do your live coding sessions along, along when you are doing your practice or demonstration. So in Swadili package, there are, there are, let me say there are three things that you can do. Normally I give people two options to me. So that probably you yourself will pick from one. So first you can either install um, Swadili package using your RStudio um, by going to install, then maybe install package like what you see here, then you call it from the library. You can do it this way. You can also use a link. And this is the link. Uh, let me just place the link. Let me just open the link. Let me open the link. Let me place the link and open it. So check on the chat session. I just posted a link. So this is a link. You can also follow this link and also install your Swadili package. And the third thing is that one amazing thing about the Swadili package is that you can, be, you can use your scripts, you can, you, you can do your practice um, offline. It's just a, it's, a, it's having an offline version today, you can do your practice. And you can also what, generate your own scripts whilst following what they do, then after that you can practice. And there are a lot of resources too you can learn. As you are learning it too, they give you additional resources to also what, use to enhance your experiences when it comes to what, learning Swazili practice. So let's kindly click on the link. Let me click on the link uh, and open it. Uh, let me open the link. I will take you through the two options so that you weigh your options, you, you weigh what is, is good for you. Yes, it's like climbing a tree. Some people prefer climbing the tree from the bottom. Some people prefer cl climbing the tree from the top. So I don't know how they do that, but well, uh, that's just by the way. So, um, so when you open the, the link, this is the interface you see. So you see this interface, you see what we call home, you see learn, you see teach, you see contribute, you see the blog, then you see the A, the AL, uh, Q, and the help. So all these things have meaning. So when it comes to learn, if you want to learn, you just click on the learn aspect. That's what I'm going to do today. So, and if you want to also teach, if you're also an instructor, you can choose by using what, the teach aspect, which probably I will touch on it, but I will let you also explore. And then we have the contribute. So if you want to contribute also to um, 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 the page, um, yeah, you are free to do that. And you can use this link to do that. And they have discussions to, uh, as well. So I'm part of some of the discussions. We have some discussions and, and this they are blocked. So if you want to know more about it, you just use this. But for today, um, we are going to do some demonstrations um, today about on strategy package. So let me just start. So when you come to learn, uh, this is the first option. So I'm going to take you through three options on how we are going to do it so that to be like, you get, the, you get the understanding more clear and um, very simple and um, you'll be able to use to practice. So, uh, so when you click on the learn, you could see here that are you a student? So as I said, it's an interactive platform that you can join, people can join with you 
then you learn, you share ideas. Even after that, you have exercises, you can share emails, which I will take you through uh, that uh, as and when we get, to, we get to that particular point. So, um, well, so here they are just giving us what a preview of what Swadili package is. So here, let me just read it out. Um, let me just be snappy with that. Swadili package uh, makes it fun and easy to learn our programming and data science. And data science. Um, if you are new to R, have no fear. This page will walk you through each of the steps required to, to begin using Swadili today. So it's, it's just an exciting, even the introduction is very simple. So, I, so, now, so now, so when you open this page, you could see that we have, if you don't have R on your machine, uh, they've, made it, they've made a provision for that. You just click on install to Windows. If you're having, a, if you're using Mac 2, you can click and the process is just next, 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 and voila, you are good to go. So um, let me just go down small. So this is step one. So the step one says that if you don't have studio on your machine, on your window, on your Mac, whatever type of PC you are using, they have provided a link for you. Just go through the link, just click uh, on the button and voila, you are good to go. So the step two talks about uh, recommendation, uh, recommended, so that, so you can read about this too as well. Um, and then, voila, so the, the, the step three is what I need now. So the step three, we just copy it. So here, you have, have to install the package. And when we talk about packages, packages are simply um, codes that help you to achieve a specific tax in R. There are lots of packages there in R. I always tell people who learn HBSS, uh, who learn MATLAB, who, who uses data that whatever you, whatever you want in data, you can get it in R. The only thing that you need to know is that just try to get to know the package. And once you get to know the package, you, yes, yeah, so it's been recorded. Once you get to know the package you are dealing with, it, it makes it easier. And one, one, one nice thing about R I, I like and I'm cherish and I'm passionate about is that because of the open source nature of it, you don't need to go and buy Stata lances for um, um, thousand Ghana CDs to use it to run your analysis. Well, at times if you are doing your project work or depending on the project in which they, they've given you, you probably could use the other packages. But whatever um, results you get, using Stata, using SPSS, using MATLAB, using um, whatever software you like you are using, R can equally give you the same thing and even a better graphics. So um, let me continue. So here, as I said, as I said, uh, I'm going to take you through three steps um, to, 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 so that you can, it can help you work with Swadden package. You can choose the one which you think it will be easier for you um, to, to do, to use. So, um, so now, the step three, they are talking about now, how do we install it? And I think uh, in our communities, we've taken a lot of you through how to install packages uh, in, in, in studio or in console. And I think some of you are new. So that's why I was just trying to touch on um, some of these basic concepts in R. And with one thing about Swadil packages, the one you have it, you don't need to even prepare a slide to teach. As I'm talking to you right now, I'm not preparing this slide. I've not prepared any slide. I'm just going to use a link and I'll teach you how to create your own slide how to do your own script using it. So uh, I think I'm talking too much. Let's get our hands dirty. So let me just uh, copy this. So I can copy this link. Uh, so I, I, I normally don't advise people to copy, but you can type. Uh, but for, for copying, it's, it's for lazy programmers. But for the purpose of this and the time you are using, I'll do a lot of copy and paste so that like we, we can be able to cover uh, uh, more. So please, I'm a lazy programmer. Um, the serious one. So let me go back to console. So please, can you see my um, my screen? Um, Edaba or Evan, you can respond to it. When, 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 if you, if you can see it. Oh, yes, you can see it. Okay. So um, so this is my screen, but uh, I'm not going to use this. I'm going to create a different project. So in R, we have something we call projects. So when you're working on a particular, um, maybe if you have projects you are working on, when it comes to HPSS, you can do one project at a time. But R gives you the opportunity to do multiple projects at different time. So let me just um, start by um, creating a project. So in, if you want to create a project, just go to here. I hope you can see my um, where I'm pointing to uh, projects. You just click on it. Then you click on new projects. So once you click on new projects, so the, why am I doing this? What is the essence of me doing this? 
I want to put everything when it comes to Swadili package, everything I do, all my course and everything, I want to put it on a particular project. I've already created a project for it, but uh, because most of you are new, I just probably just want to um, create a new project. Then we all follow it step by step. Then we all get the understanding. And as I said, I'll, I'll try to, as much as possible, take you through all the three alternatives, probably then you can choose whichever one you want to use or whatever one which is convenient for you um, to use and then to understand. I think it's still loading. So um, uh, just let's just be patient for a while. I think it's loading. Uh, I think it will come now so that we get the hands dirty. So wow, voila. So you see that when you, when you, when you click on projects, you see what we call create a new, new dictionary, um, existing dictionary, and then version control. So if you have an existing one, so you just click on here. I have, a, I have a lot of projects on R, uh, which some of them are confidential, so I can't click on that. So I just come to new, and that, that is my main focus. So new projects, you can see that they have given you a lot of things here. I'm not going to touch on it today because um, we are not talking about this today. Our focus is on the Swazili package. So um, you just click the new project and you give it a name. So um, I can just say um, Swadli um, P, yeah, Swadli P or Swadli package. So then I click on create projects. So once I click on create projects, all the calls, everything I would do will be on this project. Everything I do, you see it on this project. So I'm just creating a project, at least for the new people uh, who probably are joining. This is how we create a project. A project. Maybe um, when we get an opportunity the next time, I will teach you how to publish a project. I will teach you how to make your own publication using R. And it's very simple. But for the purpose of today's um, meetup, I'm focusing much on the Swadini package. So let's be patient a while. I think it's still loading. Uh, it will soon open for us uh, to get our hands dirty. Uh, on it. So um, just a minute. I think it's still loading. Uh, I want us to get our hands that um, we appreciate um, the powerful tool called R. So I think it's still loading. So um, just a minute. Okay. Well, uh, we so I think it has. Oh, okay. Well, right. Sorry. Uh, are you saying something? Oh, no. It's okay. It's fine. Okay. So we can see that we have four quadrants here. We have the script, we have the environment, uh, we have the help, and then we have the console itself. So let me just start. So I copied the link earlier on. So I'm just kind of pasting the link here. So as I was saying, um, if you want to um, use a package, you first have to install it. So I just copied it from um, the, the link I posted there. So this is it. So let me go to the next step. Uh, let me go back to the link and copy the next one. So the next step is what? After copying the link, I'll run, I'll run all the codes. Yes, I just want you to understand the concept of what I'm doing. And then you can also read this. I, I, I want to skip all this reading aspect so that um, I can move faster. Um, so you can copy this library. So anytime you install something on R, you have to use library to call it. Yeah, so um, let me go back. Please, can you see my, my studio again? Yes, we do. Yes, so I just pasted that one too as well. Um, let me go back again there. What else am I, am I, have I left out something? Okay, so voila, so that's it, so that's it. So let me go back to the console. So we, you can see that we have installed packages. So as I said, if you, want to, if, if you are R and you want to work on a particular package, first of all, you have to install the package. So I'll go here, I'll go, I'll press control, enter. Then you see that my package is here. Then uh, it's yet to be installed. I already have it in, on, on my, but uh, if you have it, you don't need to install it. But, but for the purposes of this training, I just want to take through, you through like some small steps on how to install a package. But if you already have a package, you just go to library, you type swadily, then voila, and you are good to go. It will just show up. So as you can see now, it's now downloading the packages that are in the swadily. So the packages are all what, they, they have been downloaded. So. Um, Let's wait a while. So let me just also go this. I just want to, okay. So the library, then if you want to also start the Swadley, uh, these are the three steps you follow. As I said, this is one way of, of doing it. I will teach you three or several ways as and when we get time. So here, when I type Swadley, you can see here, they are asking you the high. So this is the Swadley. 
So just kindly follow me. So let me make this big. Let me make this big. So here, uh, okay, let me just let me just maintain it and maintain it so that you can see what is on this script here. So you can see that um, we have high type swadly when you want to, when you are ready to begin. So when you install swadly, uh, this is what you see here. the package, are you ready to begin? Ready to begin this? I will type this, swadly this. So this is it here. So as I said, I will be, um, I'll be copying and pasting because I want us to go faster. I want us to move faster. So I just copy this. So they said we should type, I'm copying it. So please, sorry, I'm not a lazy programmer. Uh, I just want us to go faster. So I just kind of paste it here. So when I paste it, I just press enter. So once you press enter, amazingly, they give, it gives you a comment. And what is the comment? Welcome to Swadley. Please sign in. If you have uh, been here before, if you haven't been here before, use the same name as you did then. Um, if you are new, call yourself something unique. So here, what do you want to call yourself? You have to call yourself a name. You have to choose a name. If you haven't been here before, you choose a name. I have been there before, but well, I just have to choose a name. So let me just choose um, a name. So I just have to choose my local name, which is uh, Kwaju. So my local name is Kwaju. So in Ghanaian name, hey, it's a Ghanaian name. Yeah. Yeah. Could you pull up the console a, bit, a little bit higher so we can see? Higher. Oh, yeah, that, that's cool. Thank you. Thank you for that. Um, I appreciate it. So once you type in Kwaju, you see that what should you call you? So I said, Swadley call me Kwaju. So Kwaju is just my traditional name in Ghana, here, local name. So that's my local name. So you press enter. And once you press, sorry, let me come again. Okay. So once you press enter, you see that um, Swadley will welcome you. Thank you, Kwaju. Um, let's cover a couple of quick housekeeping items before we begin our first Listen, first of all, so when you see this three dots, that means you should press enter when you are done reading and ready to continue. So one amazing thing about Swahili package is that you have to read. They tell you what to do. And once you follow what to do, you will be able to what, do it more proper, like you need to get the proper understanding. And as I was saying, you can even be doing it alongside with your scripts. Whatever they give you, you can put it on your script. When you finish, you can do your own practice and you are good, you are good to go. So here they are telling us that that's your clue to press enter. So they said, we should press enter. So let's also press enter. So I'm pressing enter. And once you, um, you kind of, once you press enter, amazingly, you see that something pops up. So let me read what prompts up. So here you have to be, um, pay attention. We those who don't like reading a lot, you have to pay attention and read and get the understanding of what they are saying before you apply. Once you don't get understanding, probably you, at times you get yourself being messed up. So now let me just uh, continue. Um, also, when you see the answer, this. Um, okay, so let me continue. So when you see the answer, this, they are just telling us this. They are from this. And when you ask to select from the list, that means it's your turn to enter and respond, then press enter to continue. So they have given us multiple choices here. And all these things, they are just the same. Continue, proceed, let's get started. They are all just the same. So let's just choose any. So let me just choose um, three. Let's get started because I'm ready to get my hands. So um, yeah, so I just typed it. Let's get started. So we are we are about to get your hands and we are about to do some small practical um, demonstration of the package. So um, let's start. So what are they saying? What are they saying? What are they saying? Okay, so they, they have given us some instructions or some rules or, or, or some basic things to follow. Um, in order to get this thing done well and proper and proper. So what are, what are they saying? What, what are they saying? You can just suddenly arrange the output at the time when, at, the, at any time by pressing skip. So this one, skip, the skip key. So this is one thing that you should take note of. Um, and the second one you should take note is that um, you are already at the prompt. Type bye bye to exit. So if you want to exit the swaddle package, then probably use your code, use your script to practice. You can just type what? Exit by typing what? Bye by using this one. It's called bye, bye bye. So um, let me continue. That's just by the way. And save your progress. You can also save your progress or work when you want to exit properly. You can save your work 
so that next time when you're opening your work, you see what you've done there. So if you don't save, so you know what will happen. Yeah. So you also see a short message letting you to know what you have done so far. So you also see some messages that will let you know what you have done so far. So now, what are they telling us? Let's just go down a bit and read what um, they have for us. So what are I saying? They say, okay, um, when you are at the ad prompt, these are the things I have to take note, as I was just saying. Um, so here they're giving us detail about what they were just talking about. Initially, it was just a summary, but this is a detail of it. So let's pay attention to that. So first, what are they saying? Um, they are saying that type skip, type skip. So this is the skip, type this. Um, it allows you to skip the current question. So when they ask you a question then you don't know or you are not certain about it, you can either type skip, it will give you the answer. Yeah, so um, um, this one, if you give it to students, if you are an examiner and you, <laughs> you program something like this for students to answer, at the end of the day, you realize that all the students will get 100%. And I think, well, that's just by the way. So let me go next. So next, type play. Um, play also, it lets you to what? To experiment with art on your own. So when you type play, as I said, when you type play, you can, you can experiment on your own. You can use the script and run your own course. Um, so I also ignore what you do. So it, is not, it ignores what you do. Um, until you type in next, which will um, regain swadly attention. So when you, when you um, type the play, you have to type next again so that at least you gain the attention of um, the swadly uh, um, um, pa package. Yeah. So until you type next, which will, yeah. So this is what, this is what I just spoke about. And you type bye bye or bye, which uh, will exit the page and save your progress of work. You type main to return to the main swadly menu. Then again, you type info. So if you want more information about the swadly package, just type info. Once you type the info, a lot of information will pop up and it will make you get it simple. So what I was, what, what, uh, all this, what am, I, what, am, what am I trying to say? All this long talk, what am I trying to say? Let's just get started so that probably you know what I'm talking about. It's like I'm talking a lot, so let's get started. So I, as I said earlier on, when you see these three dots, it just simply just press enter. So let me press enter and we see what, what is there. So I just press enter and voila, we have courses in, 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 in Swadley package. So look at the courses we have. We have about one, two, three, four, five courses. So the first one is um, R programming. So the first one, Swadley package will take you through basics of R. This one, you don't need to prepare slides. You just need to follow them and you are good to go. You don't need to, uh, 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 a Nigerian person say wahala, you don't need to wahala yourself. Uh -huh. So once you just click on the R programming, it will give you basics from the beginning, whatever you need to know about R. Then it will build you from there. Then it will take you through regression. Uh, regression is not only for statistician. Everybody, you can learn regression. Just have the mind. There's nothing too hard. Um, so regression models too. There are topics um, um, on regression that it will enable you to do. So if you have any, if you have any projects regarding regression, once you just use it, it will give you ideas. It will give you um, insights. It will, it, will, it will enlighten you more to, um, to know more about that. And then also we have what we call statistical inferences. Yeah, so it will take you through the basics of what? Statistical inferences. You don't need to go and get the statistics, uh, like, like a statistics book, like what some of us did when we're doing our undergraduate and our postgraduate. We have to go and get statistics books to learn and to get understanding of this. And we have exploratory what? data analysis. All these things are a type of analysis that we do. It also take you through the basics. And don't install, you can also do it yourself. Uh, that's where, that's if only you want to, um, uh, I don't know, you have your own slice you want to do, you can kind of also do it yourself. Just a minute, I'll just take some small water. Yeah, so let's get started. Let's get the hands dirty. So they have, they have about five courses. Let me just, for the benefit of um, the new people on the page and people who are new um, to R, it would be prudent or it would be wise to start with the basic. So I just take only one course and just um, give you an, a holistic overview of what we are doing. So if you want to select a course, just press one. So once you press one, press enter. One, just press enter. So I think it's loading. Let's just wait for a minute. Once you press one, just press enter. So voila. So you can see that um, here, they are telling us that the course has been installed successfully. And that's, that's, that's a plus. So they are telling us that it's been installed successfully. Uh, this is English. So uh, it's been installed. So now 
Um, here, uh, what are they saying? That you can choose a course or type zero to exit. So assuming you started, you have something to do, or you have a meeting to attend, any agent meeting, just type zero and you exit. Then you can come back and continue. But here, we are not typing zero. So you can see that they have given us two options here. Now, one, the first option is the art programming. What we chose, we chose here basic art programming. And the second one is what? It can take you back to the reciprocal. What I, the link I sent, when you want to go back there, you can still press to the, take you straight back there. That means if you don't want to be a learner and you want to be a teacher, you can still go back there and choose the teacher's option. Then it will help you prepare your slide. And I think uh, you'll be good to go. Yeah. So your video is, yeah. So let me just turn the video on off. I don't know. Uh, okay. 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 So thanks for that. Thanks. Let me just turn the video off for now. Yeah. So um, you just put on one because we are, we are interested in what? The R um, programming. So let's press one. So once I press one, you can see that a lot of options just pop up. And, and you can choose um, from many of them. You can choose from many of them. We have the basic building blocks. So I, I probably recommend beginners to choose the basic building blocks to get to know more about R. We have the workspace and files in R. So if you are dealing with, if you are on a project and most of your things are into files and stuff. So when you come here, you get more information about what you want. And we have the third one that talks about the sequence of numbers. So if you are to sequential things to when you come here, you get the information you need. We have vectors, we have missing values, we have um, subletting vectors, we have matrices and data frames, we have the logic, we have the functions, we have the, all, the whole lot, a whole lot. Looking to data, data time, I don't want to go through a basic graphs and I don't want to go through this all, but let me just begin something so that later on, at your, in your own convenience, if you, have, if you are free, you can also what, explore on um, and these things I'm talking about, you can easily explore and also get maybe a deeper understanding of what I'm saying. Um, so let's let's quickly start. So now I'm going to choose one one of them. So let me just choose the first one for the sake of those who are new. So I just chose one, and voila, you can see that here um, in this lesson you will explore some basic building blocks of art programming. So they are telling us that we are going to install some basic building block of art programming. And one amazing thing about the solid package is that once you start, it, it starts grading you. So here I'm, 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 I'm just on the amateur level, that's zero. So it has started grading me. And once you get to 100, you know that you are done. And as, as, along, the, as, along the line, they will give you exercises. And you can, you can also even use this to teach people like students uh, who want to learn R. Then once they, you teach them, you give an assignment on it. So let me stop the long talk. Let's go. Let's go for it. Let's go for it. How's it? So enter. So when I type enter, as I was saying, you have to pay attention to distance. Distance here. You have to pay attention to them. Once you under, understanding the question is what is part of answering it. That's what Ghanaians we say. When you understand something, you you easily um, answer it properly. Now when you understand it, then uh, I think there's a trouble somewhere. So here, what are they saying? If at any point you do, you like more information on a particular topic related to R, you can type help. So we all know where you want any information. At any point, just type help. You get more information at any point, which you open the menu of the resources, or either within um, Studio or by web, depending on your setup. Alternatively, alternatively, simple web search often yields the answer you are looking for. So one 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 amazing thing about R two is that like look, we have a very big community. All the continents in the world, we have our user community there. Once you just reach out to them, they are ready to help you. If you get to uh, like to any point in time that you are confused, you don't know what to do, just type it on the internet and you, you, you get it done. Or use chat AI. Or use chat AI, at least it will give you some um, brief. It will also give you some, uh, it will help you also do something. Even though people are condemning AI, people are, there are a lot of arguments about AI. I don't seem to agree with them. Um, I believe that in life, everything we do, there are limitations to it. So I'll probably recommend AI, chat AI to everyone here. If you have anything you are struggling with, just go into, into chat AI and probably it can, it can help you. So um, I think that's just by the way. So let me just type in enter. So I just typed in enter. So here you can see that, let me just read what, it's saying, 
um, in this, it, in its simplest form, how it can be used as an interactive calculator. Just type five plus seven. Here, the space doesn't matter whether you enclose it or you do it. It doesn't matter. Once you do it, it comes. So here, when you using R as a calculator, some of the books we have um, with uh, you, we have uh, R like some of the books people have written. Even my good friend, my good friend uh, Prof K, has written um, a book. Okay, okay. So that that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. Okay. Thank you, Edeba. So my friend has even written a book on R, Prof K. Maybe after this session, uh, you probably have to give an announcement of his book. And he has highlighted all these things too as well. So once you, um, as I said, I'm not a lazy programmer. I'm trying to be time. So I just copy the same thing. But I say you type. I just copy the same thing. So once you copy five plus seven, once, once you enter, once you just type enter, you see that five plus seven is 12. Five plus seven is 12. So it has given you that the answer is what, 12. And they said, good job. And you can see that they've started grading already. So I was from zero, now three, now five, I'm eight. So you have to do this to get to um, 100, then I think we are good to go. So I'll just quickly go faster, small. Um, R simply prints the results of 12 by default. So one amazing thing about this package is that once you print it, it gives you an interpretation of what you printed. Like it further on, even help with your analysis. And it, it, it helps you to interpret it, your, your data. And let me put it that way. So that's just by the way. So uh, our programming language, um, and often the reason we use our programming as opposed to calculator is to, or to automate some processes or avoid unnecessary repetitions. So they are just kind of explaining what I just demonstrated. So there's nothing new here. Uh, don't be confused. I just explain what we did. They are just telling us that if you add five plus seven, you get twelve. So enter. Let's go next. So in case we want to use our results from from above in a second in in a second calculation, uh, instead of repeating uh, five plus seven every time we need it, we can just create a new variable that stores the result. So here they are telling us that we have to create what a new variable that what stores the results. Okay. Let me continue. The way you the way you assign a, a, a value to a variable in R is by using the assignment operator, which is just less than the symbol followed by a, mi a minus sign, which looks like this. So this is what we call what an operator. This is what we call what assignment operator. You can either assign it to the left, or you can assign it to the right, or you can equally use equal sign to as well. But for the purposes of what we are doing, we are using what this assignment operator. So as I said earlier on, whenever you see the three dot, it means just press enter and you are going to go. So I just did, I just did press enter. So let's wait, I think it's still loading. It's still loading. Hey, still loading. Okay. So when you say this, when you see that, it means they want you to type something. When you just see this, Operator means they want to just type something. Uh, so to assign the results of five plus seven to a new variable called X, you have to type this. So here they've even created it for you. They've created it for you. So this is how you create um, 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 an, a, a new what variable. So if you have X, so what we are simply saying is that X, whatever is in X is equals to, whatever is in here, that's the, um, to my left hand side, this one, is the same as whatever is here to the right hand side. So what they are saying is that the X, the, the output of this resource, the five plus say seven, when you get a resource, it's equally uh, X. So let me just paste it here. As I said, I am not a lazy programmer. I just want to finish faster. So enter. So when you do enter, you see that X has been assigned to a five plus seven, which is keep it up. That's a good job. Voila. So I think we are, we are really going. We are only doing so. So now we are in twenty-one percent. So, well, we have a long way to go, but not all that long. We finish now. You can also you you will also notice that I did not print the result of twelve this time. So as I told you earlier on, anything you do, it gives you an interpretation. It gives you a well-meaning understanding of what you are doing, so that you you probably not be left out. So let me continue uh, with what I was saying. So when you use the assignment operator. R assumes that you don't want to see the results immediately. 
So here, 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 you see what they are saying. So I assume they don't see the results immediately, but rather, uh, rather that you intend to use the results for something else later on. So they are just kind of trying to explain this. So let me just go next. To view the content of a variable, just type X and press enter. As I said, I'm a lazy programmer for the purposes of this training. Uh, so I don't want to type, so I just copy and then I paste. So, and I press enter. So you can see that as I was saying, our X here is 12. You can see that our, we assigned this to this. We assigned the X to this two. And what, and what we are trying to say is that when you add five plus seven, you get 12. So if five plus seven is 12, that means automatically you can even replace this one. This five plus seven by 12 here, and it still gives you the same thing. And if you look at the environment, you can see that our X is what 12. So um, that's just by the way. So now they're also telling us, okay, they have showed us how to do it using um, uh, using X. Okay, so let's also create our own. So you see one amazing and interesting about this package is that once they give you an example, they also give you something to also work on. As I said, the life code is embedded in the package. So that's what we are simply doing. So here we are trying to create a new variable called Y and we are using X minus three. So I'll just come here and copy this Y. Uh, I'm a lazy programmer. So I just kind of paste it here. And I have to assign it. I have to assign it. So here, I just copy here. Then I kind of paste it here. So I'm assigning this three, X minus three to this. So this is how you create. This is how you create. Um, what do the percentage of this? So the percentage simply re represents your progress or work. So um, with Swadin package, it, it, it assesses you based on your progress. So when you see 26, that means you have done well. Um, in Ghana here, some universities, we have some grading systems. So in our grading systems, so universities, when you get a pass mark of 50%, you've gotten D and you've passed, even though it's not a good pass, but you've passed. When you get 90%, you, you have some classes you fall under. So this is just a typical example of what um, Swadi package is trying to just tell us. So when you see the 26%, that means we are still progressing. That means we are still doing well. So we, we have to do this to get to 100%. So that is just it. But I, I believe too that they have some calculations they have done um, of, um, of what we are doing. You know, for programming, we have to do something at the back end. So maybe um, I'll do more research about that to see what um, the programming things they've used. I probably have to contact them to see what they used to come out with the six uh, to, to this, with the twenty six percent. So when you press enter, you see that I've gotten twenty nine now. Yeah, it's like you are giving marks to your students. If you are a lecturer and then you are marking student scripts, these are some of the things that you come across. Okay, just eight minutes left to make an hour. Wow. Okay, so I'll just, I'll just, I'll just go faster. I'll go faster. I'll go faster. Thank you for the message. So here we just created a new uh, variable. So now here they're asking us, what is the value of y? So let me just go. It's just the same thing. So what is the value of y? So I just come here. Um, I press here, enter. So the value of y is nine. Yeah, the value of y is nine. You can see it here in the console. Uh, in the environment so is it the same thing i'm just trying to highlight you on the course of time let me let me still move a bit so i don't know um i do you have more time can i get 30 minutes more or oh, i don't know what, what time uh, can i stop i don't know or uh, should i flow um okay 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 no problem i'll work within that time okay so now uh let us create a small collection of numbers call a vector any any object that contains data is called a data structure and numeric vectors are simply types of data structures in r in fact even a single number is considered as a vector of length one so let's take note of this because they, they, they will exercise very soon um the easiest way to create a vector is with is by or is with the c whereby the c the C means concatenation to combine. So they, to combine. So it's here. Um, so to create a vector containing number 1.19 and 
3.4, you use the combined function, and this is it here. So I just kind of copy the same thing. So this is how you combine numbers. Uh, this is how you combine numbers here. Okay, so what happens if you are wrong? That's a nice question, Albert. So I zoom in. So let me let me just let me just do a wrong thing so that you see what happens. So um, so um, let me just remove this. Oh, sorry, I went and typed this somewhere. So okay, I think this that's the answer I was looking for. But try not another time. So aha, so this is what happens when I'm wrong. So when I'm wrong, you could see here that I didn't follow the instructions. So when I'm wrong, it will prompt you. That's not the answer I was looking for, but try or type info for more options. So you can see that this was supposed to be the output I was supposed to get. This was supposed to be what I was supposed to get, which is X assigned to what? To this, because it's actually create a, a, a vector, uh, a variable for what? For X. Let me go back to where I was, uh, where I am, where, where I was. Okay, so here, so let me just read here faster for you. I think this just answer your question. So the easiest way to create a vector is by using the concatenating function to create a vector containing the numbers 1.19 and 3.41. You type this thing, try it now and store the results in a variable called the Z. So here, they, are, they were expecting us to do it in this form, to create a Z uh, vector in this form. But because you asked that, you told me that um, you said that what happens when you type in wrong thing? So when you type in the wrong thing, this is what pops up. That is not the answer we're looking for. So they will simply tell you you are wrong and you have to um, 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 still review your answer and they'll give you some attempts to do it. And even if you don't know, as I say, as, as I was saying, if you are by any way you get to a point that you become confused, you maybe know the answer. Once you type skip and you type enter, it will automatically give you the answer you are looking for. Then you will use it to apply with what you are doing. So let me just, type in the correct answer that you see. Let me just type in some of the correct answer. So this is the correct answer here. So let me paste in the correct answer. Um, enter. Voila. So you see, when you are correct, it will, it will even acknowledge you. It will congratulate you. So it's like, as you are correct, here they say what? Nice work. And they are trying to explain why you did well. So they said nice work. So that means we are correct here. So let me go faster. I think I have 15 minutes left. Um, anytime you have questions about a particular function, you can access R built in help. So if you have any question about any R function, once you just type in help, uh, the help function here, you see that everything will come. So uh, because of time, let me just uh, type in this. I don't want to waste time again. So um, we are far behind time. So enter. Okay. So when you type in question mark C, you see that something will pop up here. I think it's still loading. So you can see here that on my fourth quadrant, you see that here they are not trying to explain what you have typed and there are a lot of information on it. So I don't want to go, I don't want to spend my time there and they'll tell you how to go by it. Uh, when it comes to uh, using core coordinating, um, what, what you should expect, a number of rows, a number of columns and blah, 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 and blah, blah, blah. So let's, let's continue. So now here they are telling us that, okay, we've created for Z. So now I want to see what Z is. So we just come and type Z to view what the content of what Z. Uh, so let me see whether I can do time. Uh, so when you type in Z, they say what? Because you've got the correct answer, they are telling you your dedication is inspiring. So you can also combine vectors to make a new vector. To create a new vector that contains Z 55 and then Z again in that order. So if you want to create Z 55, Z again in that order, don't assign this vector to a new variable so that you can just um, see the results immediately. So they say we should create a vector called Z. Now should we assign it to what? To a new variable. So, um, so let's try to create um, a vector called what? Z. So here I want to do an error so that you see what I, I want to use a skip function. You see what I mean by that? So this is Z. So let me just uh, copy this, uh, this here. Uh, I just want to do an error so that we teach you something. So that is your crazy. So here we have um, one, two, three, five. Then here we have uh, Z here. We have Z here. Uh, let me just quit. They said we shouldn't quit. So I don't want to quit. I just want you to see an error. So as I type, you see that 
an error has just popped up. Of course, I didn't type it well. And I was talking about skip function. I said, in one, in one way or the other, when you get yourself confused or when you get yourself mixed up with something, just type in the skip. And what, when you immediately start typing escape, so the package will just give you, um, and uh, it will just type, bring you some a prompt. So see, this is skip. So just press enter. Once you press enter, you see that the results that you are looking for, this is what they wanted you to do, but you did it this way. So they, the skip will then give you the answer to it. So that's why I say you are amazing. We are in 45 now. Numeric vectors can be used in, uh, in arithmetic uh, expression. Uh, like what you see above. So you can type this about what happens. So I say Z multiplied by two plus 100. Z is multiplied by two plus 100. So if I just copy this and paste, it will give you the output of um, 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 your Z. And then we have what we call nice work. So please kindly check in the chatting session. Otherwise, it's post posting amazing things. Can you, let's kindly take records. Myself, I haven't done that yet. I'll do that after the session. Please kindly check the chat session and uh, write your name and where you are joining from. Thank you for that. So first, I'll multiply, I'll multiply each of the three numbers in Z by two. So here, as I was saying, so we have number of rows, we have number of columns here, and we have 11, 1.1. So I'll multiply two by distance. So you can see it in the environment output here. So uh, because of time, let me go on. Okay, so we are now on 50%. So 50% means you pass. So this is a course that Coursera runs. So if you want the certificate on it, you go to Coursera register. Once you get a hundred, they give you the certificate on it. I have a lot of certificates on R and then uh, I'm still learning more. <laughs> every day we learn. Uh, and R is such a, such a way that you have to be practicing every day to keep yourself abreast. So that's why we encourage you to attend meetups, conferences. At least uh, once you expose yourself to what you are doing, you get a deeper understanding it, about it. So let me continue. Other arithmetic functions are blah, blah, blah. So they are just trying to show us other functions that uh, and we can also perform an, an arithmetic on it. So let me just press enter. So here they're talking about what? Square root, square root. So um, to take a square root of this Z, you assign it to a new variable. So they're saying that we should assign this. We should let this be a new variable. Our, my square root should be a new variable and we assign it to this. So here we are assigning this. So as I said, if you're assigning something, um, let me go and copy my... Um, my assignment operator, where are you? So, okay. So, let's copy it. Let's copy it. First time you cannot find, I will stop wherever I am. So, an email, so you can reach out to me on the chat. So, let's request the uh, roots here of Z. So, this assigned to uh, the square root of this. So, I want to see that I can make an error so that. Uh, you, you get more familiar with the uh, the the the, uh, you, the friend is saying the skip pattern. So so this and also an error answering Albert's question. So if you want it, you go to um you go back to info, then you can be able to do it. So this is what they initially wanted um, you to use. So they wanted me to use this one. So this is what we call square root of this. So let me quickly just. This again, or oh, I should have used skip function, but let, let me let me So here they have given an idea on uh, go by it. So let me just uh, replace time. Voila. So this is what I wanted to. Uh, us to get before the time of the, 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 before we are caught up with time. So here you can see they are giving us exercise. That's one amazing thing about the swadding package. Once you are once you are practicing, they give you exercise to test your knowledge on it. And and when it comes to the exercise, believe me, like there's no right or wrong answer. Even though there's a right or wrong answer, but they just want to um test your knowledge on what you've learned so far. So they want to test you. Here they are saying what before we view the content of my uh, my square uh, variable. What do you think? It contains. So here they are saying we have three length of vectors. If you can see that we have three here, we have three here. Here they say we have a single vector. So we have to not choose. Is it this? Is it that? Is it that? But here we can see that we have three vectors. I wanted to explain more detail into this, but because of time, let me just um, go faster. So you can see that here, as I said, we have three what length here. 
and the three legs, you can see it just here. So they say what nice work. So if you want to see the output, you just kind of uh, use my square root. So let me just type here, copy paste. I'm not a lazy programmer. I'm just trying to make things easy and faster. So you can see that I am 61% done. So let me just get it done faster. Um, as you may have guessed, uh, so you see, add first subtract. one from each element of Z, just continue. So, so here, they are kind of telling us that we should create a new variable called my diff, like all this, um, divided by what, Z. So as I said, there's no time. So let me just go to skip. Let me just go to skip so that uh, uh, I want to um, use the rest of the time to, um, so here they are giving us an exercise of what we did. So because I typed in the skip, they gave me the answer. This is what I was supposed to write. So I don't want to run you too faster to the last end, then probably you know, you understand what I'm about. So here, the answer is correct. And they say I should go ahead and print it. So let me just uh, go faster so that I'll get to the last till end of it, or my time is almost due. Uh, so we are 71 now, right? So next, so next, 78, 79. So here, they are telling us that we should create um another example so i'm just trying to rush faster so that uh, we get to the last end but my time is almost due so that uh, if you have any questions i'll address it later so this is 80 so i'll go next and then this is just just try this so let me just this one i can just type it and then try it so um so this and enter okay at least your work is paying off in conclusion, so, so if you are about finishing it, it will prompt you. Um, before I conclude this lesson, I would like to show you a couple of time-saving tricks, uh, blah, blah, blah. Earlier in this lesson, you computed um, um, Z times two plus 100, blah, 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 blah. Let me just go. Um, what next? So they are still throwing more light on it. So let me just go to skip, and then we get to the tail end of it. Uh-huh. So what, what, do we, what do we have next? So finally, let us prepare, let, let us pretend uh, you did like to view the content of the variable you created earlier on, but you cannot seem to remember. If you name this or that or that, so let's go. Okay, so what are you talking about? Okay, I don't want to go through it, so let me just go skip, then we'll go faster, oh, my time is up. Aha, uh -huh. so here, yeah, so here, this is what I want you to know now. So would you like to receive credits for completing this course on Coursera. So it's a course on Coursera. If you want to receive credit, if you want to get a certificate on it, you can just go to Coursera and then you do your own research and you are good to go. If you want to receive, just press yes. Once you press yes, it works off your email. So let me say, let me just say my email is mensa, um, uh, um, um, uh, mensa Accra. Uh, that's my email at uh, gmail. Uh, dot com. This is my personal email. Uh, I should have used my company email. Oh, let me just use my company email. Let me use, let me use Ghana RFC email. So, F Mensa um, at um, Ghana R users um, dot org. So, this is my email, my work email, my professional email. So, I type it. So, what is your assignment? What is your token of assignment? They will ask you, let me just go now. I just want us to go faster. So this is not quite right because I didn't get it right. So they want to know what your assignment is. What assignment do you want them to do for you? Is it that you want to go into this or that or that? So let me just go into no. Then uh, we are done. So you can see that when you are done with the work, it sends you back to the main thing. You either type to, to go back to the Swadili package course. So if I type two here, it will send me to the Swadili package course. It will tell me that you are leaving now. So you see on my screen, it has sent me back to the course here. So this is the course. These are information so you can get about it. Uh, let me just copy this, paste it, paste it there. Um, you can explore on it uh, it's, it's time. 
So um, let me just copy it and put it on the chat session. You can go and then um, just, if you have any question, as I said, you can reach out to me um, on all my social media handles, uh, being it LinkedIn and every part of it. So please, um, I just posted it there. Uh, why? Uh, I don't know why it's not going. No man is not in the words. No man in the Oh, I'm trying to paste it, but I'm not getting it. So, so I, so that's it. That's just all about what I'm talking to you about. And probably if one materials later on, I can share some materials with you. Um, there are people who have contributed contributed to this fabric package, and they are here. The contributors are here. Most of them are my friends. We have 55 contributors that made this thing possible. Most of them are some of our friends. Yes, I can see them. I can mention them by names, but the time is up. So this is the course. This is an ebook. If you want the original ebook, you just come here. You be able to get the ebook, and then um, yeah. So I think this is all about it. This is all about it. And then uh, let me go back to this. I think I have to show you this before we continue. So um, uh, maybe now just type this. So let me just type this to resume. Um, copy this. And then uh, paste this one here, enter here. Uh, it's a France. So, oh, sorry. I use I use Quadro. So let me use Quadro here again. Let me use Quadro here. So if you use Quadro here to take it back to a normal one, then you press one, enter. It will take you back to the courses. Then you choose the course you want to do. So um, and on this note, I think I'm done. Um, so I hand over to Edaba, my good friend, my respected friend um uh to 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 kindly take over the uh, question and answer session so that we wrap up and close so um uh, edaba um uh, i'm handing over to you i'll hand it over to you yeah thank you all right yeah. hello thank you so much francis that was a a very interactive demonstration that was very interesting i didn't know that swell can give you the percentage the so the percentage i think busu siswe asked i i didn't see the output is that your progress or your so so that's your progress your, that's your progress yes that's your work in progress oh, okay and this uh demonstration this is this a module we were doing yes this is amount so even um when it comes to this as i said this is amount what we're doing so with this yeah. um you can also as i say that there, there are several ways you can do it first of all you can create your own scripts, then you run it without even using the package. So I wanted to take you through three ways of doing that, but because of time, uh, mm -hmm. uh, we, we probably couldn't do that. But maybe if I get an opportunity next time, I probably have to take you through that. But because of there's no time, uh, I just, and you can create your own scripts. As you are doing this, I want to take it through, I wanted to show you how to create your own scripts by doing this thing. But as I said, there's no time, uh, if I had more time, but there's there's no time, you can just create um, your own script here. Oh, sorry, what am I doing here? So, just a minute. Oh, okay. Oh, I see. Can... Do we have any other questions from our participants? Questions, comments, suggestions? Yes. Hello. Yes. yes go ahead. Uh -huh. Thank you for the opportunity. Uh, uh, I think. For me, I'm uh, a very new person in Arrow. And more so, the meeting, uh, I was on a, uh, uh, some business uh, distance before joining. So I couldn't have a much uh, attention to it. So I'll plead uh, with Francis if uh, at a leisure time, if uh, some of us can call him personally so that he will be with our laptop so that we can we can we can get the all the information that he has put on uh, uh, on the arrow thank you very much okay that's a, so i think you've been asked to you've been asked to personally tutor them francis <laughs> uh, so um so 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 um uh, 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 well well amazingly um he's part of our I told you that we created um, intercity art communities where I, I reach out to you to help me build um, Kumasi art ladies. So as part of this, um, this is what the other communities we use. So I'll be taking them through all these things in our 
regional uh, community meetings. So I was checking the dates. Uh, Eben Ebenezer, I think you are in uh, Koforidua in Ghana. Yes, right. In Ghana. So I'll organize a meetup with you, take you through this. So all the communities in uh, Ghana that I've created, I think we have about 16 communities. So I'll take you through this packaging, uh, this um, package uh, for you to understand. So, and then for you, for the leaders to also use it to teach their members. So I will take you through it. As I said, I'm planning on so that we can be having maybe a face-to-face -face meetup every three months. So okay. I'm sure we're that. So, um, okay. So what's the, I think I will we'll, we'll talk more on that on our page. Yeah. Okay. So I think it's okay. a question answered. Okay. I'm grateful. I'm grateful. So you're welcome. You're welcome. Okay. We have another question in the chat from Michael Asari. Highlight on the key benefits on creating the new project. So I think he wants us to, he wants you to take him through uh, like navigation of creating a new project. Oh, okay. So um, creating a new project, as I said, there are a lot of steps, but I don't want to go to here. Like the simple one is I just look at your right. Is it right or left? Okay, here it is my right. Just look at where my, my, my Kaiser is pointing. When you just get, just click on it. Once you click on it, we have new projects. Once you just click on it, new projects, you see that I have to exit my current one. So let me save my current one. Let me save it. Let me save my current one before exiting. So once you just open um, our studio, just go to your left, uh, your right hand corner where, where my cursor is uh, um, pointing at. Just click on it, and once you click on it, you get you, you have new project. Once you click on it, you're able to create your project. The benefit of creating this project is that we you want to maybe um you want to make it I want to tell it for to, to a specific project you are doing. As I said, I run three, I run a lot of projects now. As I initially introduced myself, I run about three projects. I run one for women group, and I use R to do my analysis. I run one for students, I use one for my analysis. So I just create se several pages for it. And I was trying to even tell you that SBSS, you do one at a time, but R, you can do multiple projects at the same time. So as I said, when you click on it, this is what pops up. We have created a project. If already you have existing project, when you click on the existing project, the existing project will come. You just go to your browse. Once you click on your browse, it's there. If it's either on your desktop or on your drive C or drive D or your pen drive, once you create it, you can call it from there. So you see, once you create it, you can call it from there. So this is my document, that's what probably. So, and I think it's on my desktop, it's still loading. It's just a minute, it's still loading. So, so as I was explaining, uh, you can uh, create an existing, you have an existing project. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, Michael? Yeah, yes, yeah, this yeah, is Michael. So, uh, so this is just um, an overview of, of that. So we just click on new okay. projects. Then you okay. click here, you put the name, the title of your project. If you are working with project work and it's about um, uh, a woman group in the society, I deal with a lot of women groups um, in Ghana. And I work a lot of, I, I help them. So I do a lot of projects and trainings for them. So, or if you have a training in your community, uh, which community are you, for instance? Are you with Kumase, Accra? Which, which community are you? Hello, Michael. Hello, Michael. Yeah, he's in Accra. So if it's Accra, you want to create a project or you have a meet a meetup in for Accra, you say we just type Accra here, then try type, type Accra R. You can create everything of yours. Then you click when you just click create, automatically it just opens it for you. So I think that is the question for Michael. Yeah. So or Mike, is there any other thing you want me to do? Hello, Francis. Yes. Yeah, and um, thank you very much for yeah taking through how to create the, the project. But then I wanted to know if there's an alternative way of, of doing there it. Is. Like there okay. Is. There is. So there why is. why choosing the uh, creating a new project and or, or not I mean opting for a new project rather than going for another options? Come again. Okay. Um is there is there any way like so? Um, I was thinking you could maybe you could create um, a, a new like a page or a script, and then you start with the the whole process. Yeah, you create. So once you create it, it gives you that opportunity to see. Once you create it, there are scripts here. You can just come here and create your new script. You just come to file. 
you come to file, oh, what is this? You come to new, and once you create a script, once I create a script here, whatever you are doing in the script, it will, I think it will come. Whatever you are doing in the script, it will show on your project. And you can even name your script. So, so once you create a project, it's just that you are working still with the, I think it's still loading, that's why it's still delaying. Once you create a script, that means all the script that you've, you create or you work on, is still going to be found in the project. Yeah, so as I said, okay. Um, okay. I'll give you more illustrations about this. I think I have a all meeting right. with Accra Ari user community uh, before this month and then I'll be take, I'll taking you guys through this thing too again uh, for you to get an understanding of it. Yeah, okay, so, thank you very much, Francis. You're welcome. You're welcome. So, but, but uh, one of the other things that is that it helps you organize scripts. So, I think Simon has answered it also well said. So, Simon, that's nice. Th thank you for the contribution. So, one of the what uh, instances you can be able to cooperate with. So, check the chatting session. Simon just posted an interesting thing there. So, I think it will help you. So, are there any other questions? Yes, I think from Abet also have a question. Okay. Abet, you can go ahead. Abet. Hello, Dr. Albert. Uh, I think there? his network, so he has oh, gone offline. Dr. Albert's network is having a problem. Mm. So any other question or any contribution, any addition, um, anything to add uh, so that, um, I think it is off, off, mm. is it? Is she on? Can you check? Is it, is it, it, it's off, right? Uh, uh, yes, yes. Uh, in that way, oh. she says she has to leave, so I think she's no attending to that. No problem, no problem. So I think yes. um, we 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 are done.